guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new what's in my diaper bag video 2021 i currently have stuff for newborn and a toddler in the same diaper bag i have been showing you for a couple of years i still got the same one still like it i will try to link same one or similar one down below as well as some interesting and helpful stuff that i'll be showing you today so if you're new here and welcome first of all my name is karina i'm a full-time mom i have a daughter who is two and a half years old her name is Mikaela, and i have a baby boy his name is leonardo and he is almost three months old as i'm filming this so I obviously need lots of stuff to bring with me and you can let me know in the comments below after you watch this. Do you think I overpacked my diaper bag or do you also do that and try to be prepared for everything that can happen on the outing? Let me know. But overall on the channel I share my motherhood journey and I share my experience, ideas, tips and tricks to try and make motherhood and fatherhood a bit easier on you. So if this sounds like something you could get value of, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, I post every single Thursday. And now let's take a look what's in my diaper bag. So let's start from the side pockets. I have got a sanitizer, okay, this is a necessity in 2021, so nothing very surprising so far. I've got water, I always try to keep a bottle of water for me, for Mikaela. I do not bring sippy cups anymore. She does not want to drink from her sippy cup. She's a big girl now, except of nighttime. At nighttime, she always sleeps with her sippy cup, and um, this just uh, her security blanket somehow. I don't know how that happened, but for outing, we never bring sippy cup because she doesn't want to use it anyway. So we've got some bottle of water, and let's take a look at the front pocket. Let's see. I got some toys for the baby. He just getting into this stuff and I finally can entertain him with something, which is great, you know, because before uh, it would be just uh, feeding or a pacifier in the car, but he has never been into the pacifier much. So hoping that car ride is going to be easier. It's not like they were terrible so far. He's been really good about it, but Having those things helped me with my first, and I recently put those in here. So this one does this noise, this one makes this noise, and this is a rattle. So far it's been working, and I'm seeing him being more and more interested in this. So this is for the baby. I have a hair tie that Mikaela or I can use. Always great to have on hand. You never know when you're gonna need a hair tie, especially when you're a mom, especially when you're a mom of two. And then I got some Kleenex for Michaela, for me, for whoever needs it. I've got this little thingy just in case Leonard is gonna be speeding up and something's gonna get in his nose or anything like that. I've got a bar and I think this is currently an only snack in my diaper bag, which I should put more snacks. Again, maybe I'm overpacking, but I'm thinking what if we're stuck in traffic or anything like that. We need snacks. I'm a breastfeeding mama. My toddler is always hungry. You know, it's better to have snacks on my hand. I should probably put more in here. That's all for this pocket. Let's take a look inside. So the first thing that I have on top so that I can access it easily is this little baggie from Pampers that I've got in one of those free uh, baby boxes, pregnancy boxes. Uh, and here, I washed it and I keep stuff like pacifiers, clean pacifiers. So like I told you, he was never into pacifiers, but in the early days, it helped a lot. He can still take it, but he recently found his finger and I think he's just sucking on his finger more than he's interested in the pacifier currently. But anyways, I still have the pacifiers with me. He actually likes these ones. You see those that I actually also got from all of those free baby boxes. I have many, many of those from the times that I had Mikaela and now. And I have just this little burp clothes. I wrap one pacifier in and sometimes I keep it in my purse so that if in the car I don't have the access to my diaper bag, I can always have a pacifier in my purse that I always wear with me. Another thing in here is a burp clothes, very necessary at this stage, love burp clothes, love to have them on hand, and you can clean any mess with it, very good to have with you. Another thing here is 
a bib. I like those bibs, but they are not very good for summertime. You should have a waterproof bib, which this one is really thick and it does not get wet easily. But look at this fabric on the other side. It's so warm. And honestly, those are cute, but those are not very practical. And I feel like he's not very comfortable with those snaps. It's kind of too big for a newborn. So I think these are really good for like bigger babies or winter babies. And I will leave the link for those in the description below. But I also think that you should have something lighter on hand, especially during summertime, something waterproof and something that actually closes on the side with like a Velcro. Those are my most favorite. Anyways, <laughs> back to my diaper bag. I have a bib in here. So this is all I've got in this little baggie. The next thing I'm always trying to keep at reach is a muslin blanket. I've told you so many times over here on this channel that muslin blanket is so versatile, it's so soft and it's so breathable. I use it as a nursing cover. I use it to cover him when we go into a restaurant or a store because in the car and outside it's extremely hot right now in the summer and when we go in where there is an air conditioning, he's obviously cold in his onesie. So I have something to cover him, which is not too warm, but also breathable and just soft and nice. This can also be a burp clothes. This can be anything really. A muslin blanket is a must and a must in your diaper bag for sure. Next, I see here a bunch of diapers and not just diapers, pull-ups as well. So our girl, I wanted to say baby girl, but she's a toddler. Uh, she's potty trained, but uh, sometimes <laughs> we use pull-ups on her. Well, she's not nighttime potty trained. She is using pull-ups at night, but I have those on hand with me just in case. Maybe we're taking like a long ride and I'm not sure if she really wants to use the restroom or she just, again, wants to just get out and go somewhere. So I have a couple of pull-ups just in case. And I have a bunch of diapers for the baby. As you can tell, those diapers are pretty big because my not even three months old baby yet is fitting great at size four diapers. We're currently transitioning from three to four. It's insane, he's a quite big baby. Mikaela was wearing size four when she was like over half a year old, so yeah. And that's what's happening over here. They're almost like the same size. Oh my god. I feel, yeah, those are even taller. Like, they're, they're the same size? What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, those are Michaela's and those are Leonardo's. But those are not the only diapers I have in my diaper bag. Let me show you this portable changing station that I take with me everywhere I need to change him. So, yes, I have my diaper bag, but I prefer to have this inside so that I can just put it on my wrist like that, hold the baby and go to the restroom to change him. Use it with Michaela, love it. We'll link it down below for you as well. So what I have in here, just the essentials. I have a few diapers here and I try to keep it sucked all the time because I don't want to live on edge. I don't like that. <laughs> just imagine going to the restroom, changing your baby's poopy diaper and realizing that you don't have another one on hand. That would be a disaster. So I have like three diapers in here. Besides that, I have a little burp clothes, which I actually use to cover him while I wipe him so that he doesn't pee on me because you know, he is a boy and that happened a lot before. And then I have a little cream that I use for his butt just in case he needs it. And I have a bunch of halfway used or almost used water wipes. Well, this one, this one has a little more of them. Try to keep the, these in stock because I don't want to deal with a blowout without wipes. Then here is this wipeable chilling pad. I, I, I love this thing. It, it's been just so handy and comfortable because you don't want to lay your baby in the public restroom in the bare changing table, right? So that's what I have with me all the time and it's been serving me very well all these years. Next, I've got some socks, two pairs for Leonardo, one pair for Michaela, just in case, and I've got 
change of clothes for Micaela, just uh, one set underwear, shorts because it's currently warm outside and a t-shirt. I got just some random hat for her if we decide to take a walk under the sun. Then I've got Leonardo's change of clothes. I have his sun hat with SPF protection and I have two sets of changing clothes. Oh, actually those pants, yes. So it's gonna be like that. <laughs> onesie and a pair of pants, onesie and a pair of pants. Random thing, I have a straw in here. We try to use reusable straws. So when we go to Starbucks, let's say, we use our own straw. So I keep it there too. Then another random thing, we keep our glasses here, my husband's and mine. And Mikaela has her own glasses too. I think I showed them to you before. Those are uh, like flexible that you cannot easily break them. So those are her glasses. They also have that protection from the sun. Then I've got a couple of masks for me and for Mikaela. I've got another pack of wipes. Those are again from one of those free baby boxes or maybe from the hospital, probably from the hospital. I keep those somewhere here in a place where I can access them quickly to wipe her hands, her face, something like that. I have a hairbrush and here I have some Q-tips and cotton rounds in case I need to use something like peroxide if she scratches her knee, let's say, have some baby lotion also just in case. I have some creams that I use for almost everything and anything. This one is from Ukraine. It's like for bites and scratches and cuts and burns for everything really, like it helps with everything. Even for his butt sometimes I use a cream. And uh, I've got just some random couple of uh, like wet towels from like a restaurant, I guess. And this one, uh, magic towel for Mikaela. It's been years and I never opened it. Then here in the little bucket, I've got a pad for me, just in case my postpartum period hits me somewhere unexpectedly. I also keep, I think I keep one in my purse as well. And I have a lip balm, can't live without lip balm like you guys i'm addicted okay like i'm trying to actually break this habit i put lip balm like every hour maybe more often i'm not sure so i'm trying to keep lip balm in every room and in every purse which is i don't know is it good or is becoming crazy already oh and i have a quarter for the days when i go to aldi and we need to put a quarter to get a card i don't have a quarter in here so <laughs> I think I showed you everything actually. Yeah, what do you think? Did I overpack or maybe you're the same way or maybe you have something else to add to my diaper bag that I'm missing and you think could be very helpful when we're out and about with two kids. Let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful. Please give it a like, it helps me a lot. And subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. I want to wish you to have healthy and happy kiddos and I'll see you next week. Bye.